this almost feels like a personal attack in a way. Crime captured on camera sparking outrage. Damage done at a national park site that cannot be fixed. Tonight, Lake Mead National Recreation Area officials are seeking more information on two men seen damaging protected rock formations. A little girl screams as two men push chunks of red stone off the edge of a formation at the federally protected site. It takes millions of years for these rock formations to form and then you get a few idiots out there that are destroying all that work of nature. It's pretty appalling. It's kind of disgusting. It happened Sunday evening at 5.45 p.m. at Redstone Dunes, one of the most popular hiking trails at Lake Mead. Why would you even do something like this? Like, like why on earth would you do this to this area that's so beautiful? It's one of my favorite places in the park. And, and they're up there just destroying it. I, I don't understand that. Lake Mead National Recreation Area is massive. A lot of park to patrol. It's 1.5 million acres. We have two big lakes, a chunk of the Colorado River. It gets pretty difficult based on our staff levels to be everywhere all at once. John Haynes, public information officer for Lake Mead National Recreation Area says with 6 million visitors each year, they rely on the public to also keep watch over what is owned by all, especially in remote areas of the park like this. If you're out of cell phone range or you just don't know the number, uh, at least try to capture, if you can, if it's safe, uh, some kind of video or photo of, of the activity taking place. You don't have to engage people. Many people don't feel safe engaging others out there, and that's okay. It's really important for you just to let us know. Since the men have not been charged, Fox 5 is not showing their faces. But if caught for this federal offense, they could face prison time. It could range from six months in jail and a $5,000 fine all the way up to a felony offense. <laughs> Charges for toppling natural rock formations are not unprecedented. This is video obtained by our sister station in Utah. Two Boy Scout leaders toppling boulders in Goblin Valley State Park were charged and had to pay thousands in restitution. Now this video is going viral online with thousands of people weighing in. Why were they doing that? We showed the video to people at the park's visitor center. Wow. Why? I believe in Darwin. They should have gone down with the rock. So what should you do if you see someone damaging a national park site, especially in an area with no cell phone service? Rangers say that you could record it and grab any information that would help identify someone. The National Park Service has a nationwide hotline as well. You can also submit a tip online or you can email them. That information is all on your screen there and we will have a link to all of this on our website. That is fox5vegas.com.